What happened to Noah's jacket? Noah's designs, as well as the rest of the party, went through several changes before reaching their final designs, except the MVP. Whether you like the original design or not is up to you, but some of it survived in different shapes and characters, all the way until final designs. So, this video is both about Noah's older design and the city's clothes. I promise, it is an interesting video. First, the beta design features, then evolution of the design, after that, why was it designed like that? And finally, who stole his drip and city clothes? Anyways, from the original design, the elements that stand out the most are the red diamond shaped inner fabric, the metallic shoulder plates like Ethel's, Diane's or Bionis Colony 9 soldiers, the puffy elbow parts that resemble puppy spans. There's also some gauntlets that match the shoulder plates, giving a night vibe, and the fingerless gloves, present in many stages until their sad removal. Long black leather boots and the belt is supposed to hold weapons. This early on, they didn't have summonable blades, but physical weapons, and Noah wielded the Monado replica. These are supposed to be city clothes they scavenged early on, and, as they didn't know about fashion, just mixed it up. This is way more noticeable in the early concept art. There's even some camp dialogue about them not being sure if their fashion was correct or offensive. N, you say? He slaughtered many of my people in cold blood. Hyon defended his scarf, you probably remember. Personally, I don't think this is goofier than Xenoblade 2 Rex outfit. We just got used to it. The colors are stronger and stand out, but that's also because of being the protagonists. Same with Rex diving suit being unique and strong blue. He was poor, saving money by the way, while Shulk's outfit blended better within the colony. There's also another beta design, even older, more reminiscent of the lost numbers, the city army. How do we know this is older? Because of the absence of the ponytail and Mio not being Gormotti. Noah's hair looks more like Jansen's with a very distant descendant, in House Bandam. So, this image here is from a later stage, when Mio got the Welsh cat treatment. There's one final Monado Rex wielding version of Noah who got himself a ponytail, in this concept art depicting the road to Everblight Plains, with Captacorn visible. After that, they abandoned the Monado replica, but stayed with the idea of physical weapons. As we can see more art of Noah having a katana in his back. And speaking of, there's this image, whose origins I forgot, but it was shared even before the Wave 4 reveal trailer. We know it's legit as the Dirk Art and Skinny Joran were present in Ionius moments. We also have a different O, different Guernica, another Beta Sena, closer to the final product, and, most importantly, dual wielding Noah, with what appears to be Lucky 7 in the left and Ace Monado in the right. It even has the hole. Maybe Lucky 7 was stored within the A Monado lookalike, or the Monado replica before they went to the current long night sword design, which means it was still a physical weapon, and the concept of Noah's gauntlet wasn't conceived yet. This design also has the well-known red jacket, so more recent in development and post black jacket Noah. He still has the pants and boots of his prior design, apparently. Hard to tell. Noah's red jacket with a black X also suffered many changes. First, of course, from black, a Kevesi color, to red, with Mio being white. Mio remained white, 
but red is like the Sino color and looks good next to Mia's white. In fact, their designs are meant to be seen together rather than in isolation. It also resembles Sinosaga's Jin and Sinoblade's Danban. There is also the running idea of Noah having gloves, which is something we miss. Evidently, to show his term mark in the right hand. They got rid of it. And we got the rolled up sleeves version of Noah, with dark ribbed cuffs and a bigger collar compared to the current one. And it even has a 3D model. There's lots of photo bashing art where this model of Noah was used. Finally, we got the smaller collar and the complete sleeves, all the way down. Was he showing too much skin? Reference to source material? Who knows? What do you think? Personally, I like all of them. But, most importantly, let's analyze the beta design in question, and what it represents. The old CD concept. It is an image board, so very early. It was not that metallic and dark, like seen from the Matrix, more on that on the culture analysis, but rather a castaway and scavenger culture. Not steampunk enough to be considered steampunk. We can see debris turn into wooden buildings with a classic look instead. Red was the prominent color here, rather than green. Noah's jacket having the puffy red diamonds in the inside and those weird puffy elbows give an air of aristocracy, but that already clashes with the ribbed waistband, clearly contemporary, and even having zippers, kinda like Mia's jacket, maybe too much, we'll get there in a while. What's the meaning of this? Well, it's related to the older city concept, a way more chaotic cross-cultural approach, a clash between the architectonic styles, same with clothes, of old and new, of Bionis and all rest. Chaos. This jacket represented that more, but they started to drift away from this style, and so did the jacket. Noah getting one like beta tions, but in red. Some of his aristocracy vibes remain in his off-seer suit but many aspects of this jacket live on the city and others. And that's what comes next. Who stole Noah's drip? One of the first culprits that comes to my mind. His girlfriend kept his hoodie. Mio's princess dress matched her as the daughter of the Queen of Agnus, Princess Mio. But it's not something she would wear to war or that they picked from the city containers, so they gave Mio a white jacket with ribbed cuffs and waistband. Luckily, not the weird aristocrat elbows, but she uses a belt in them instead, without covering her shoulders a hundred percent, like Noah's. Even more noticeable in the black version. Got purple instead of red though, she even kept his gloves. Noah in Mio's jacket is the closest we got. I wish we could wear the alternate colors like the black jacket. It also lacks their diamond pattern interior. But guess what? Noah's great granddaughter has them. And Matthew, his great grandson, has a similar color scheme to Beta Noah. Black with a red inside. Uses belts, has gloves, Poor Noah, betrayed by his own family. Ok, it's time to take a look at the city clothes. There are similar clothes to the ones of the main party, but in duller colors. Most of the NPCs we meet are part of the lost numbers, so we see lots of military uniforms instead of civilians, instead of casual outfits. There was an NPC that had Mio's and Eunice jackets, 
so they were supposed to see them being used? I wonder why they cut it, to make the protagonist stand out? There are similar ones though. Well, there's supposedly a lore reason. The clothes the party got not only were civilian outfits, but old, in the old side. We don't know from where Guernica got the Euroboros stone, but they were also carrying clothes, even small sized ones. So, they were supposed to deliver them to the city as well? I believe these older clothes were from the old city, like Matthews or Niles. But we didn't get to see many NPCs with unique colors either. Kids did have unique and brighter colors, along with said Matthew and Nile. It's like Xenoblade 1 and 2. The named and relevant characters get the cooler clothes. Speaking of Xenoblade 1, the new castle town, along with Colony 9 and 6 clothes, seem to be the basis of their outfits. Kids and some of the elderly seem to wear more bright colors and casual outfits, probably because they aren't part of the military force. This isn't the cultural analysis that will have to wait, as it's a much larger topic. We are just seeing clothes here. The Lost Numbers female large jackets are not so different from Noah's, aside from the color and some textures. Those were made for combat though, so there's the difference in additional patches. If you look around the hospital, Michiba Canteen or the plazas, you can see kids and adults wearing blue, red, orange, green, yellow, dark blue, dark red, white, and so on. Most with ripped cuffs. This one looks like Mio's jacket. This other one from Plain reminds me of Noah. It's red, has black shoulder pads, and a black sweater inside. There's also the Beta Noah diamond pattern in the back of the jackets. Even in red, there's concept art of a girl wearing a deep yellow jacket, not covering her shoulders. This jacket was used by the old people instead in the game. Garrett, leader of House Doyle and the conservative faction, gives me some Morpheus from the Matrix vibes here. Although the art book shows the designs of the clothes, they don't show the color variations of said outfits that the game has. Very cool recolors, black, red, yellow, green. Most of these variations and NPCs hang out around the same spots, doing all kinds of activities. So, if you want to see more, you could stock each one. Keep in mind that the amount of NPCs and their position vary between day and night. Going back to the clothes, N used to wear this, but in the default green color. This reminds me, well, it is the same, in fact, of City M, black jacket with white fur. Yeah, let's talk about fur and the lost numbers. Whether it was in chapter 5 on Mechonis Sword or chapter 6 under Cadencia, the city was a cold place. You can see many lost numbers outfits being jackets with fur or trench coats, with some outliers having leather sleeveless jackets and scarves. But all of the gloves, armor, helmet and fur reminds me of soldiers and pilots. And that's what they were, mostly. The armories, the name of their levnices, derived from Colony 9 vehicles that already resemble World War II planes especially the windows and the artillery. The armories had a vehicle transportation mode and a mech mode. It seems you enter the cabin, landing directly on the seat, and the seat moves to the window. I wish we could have pilot this. Other unique city outfits in the city are Shania's, Gondor's, Aggie and Oogie, and Masha, of course. She designed it herself. Now, the Liberators? Those are another topic, I'll just briefly mention that they have some color, mostly red and blue, they look mostly like city soldiers, but with shoulder pads that resemble Fionis home soldiers, Ayantia soldiers, and the uniform of specialized Kebesi soldiers. Their goggles and levnices were more advanced, but expensive to make. 
the CD eventually settled for automatons and cables instead of ether lines, as the materials were too hard to find, to mass produce. I think there's not much more on this topic. Other design evolutions we could analyze are Mios, Senas, Unis and Pions, etc. But I don't want to drag this any longer. Maybe in the future, if we get more beta concept art, we know they are hiding more art. Will we see the beta outfits in the future? Look forward to the future of Xenoblade video and the culture analysis. Two big videos coming in the very near future. Anyways, that would be it for today. Have a good one.